the number of distinct pairs of integers m comma n satisfying this inequality wonderful wonderful question i really struggled with this one so first thing to know is mod a less than mod b is same as saying a square less than b square one implies the other that's the first step to do that means we can say 1 plus m n the whole square is less than m plus n the whole square or 1 square plus m square n square plus 2 m n is less than m square plus n square plus 2 m n nice so far so good this 2 m n gets knocked off on both sides 1 plus m square n square minus m square minus n square is less than 0 or 1 minus n square minus m square plus m square n square is less than 0 1 minus n square minus m square times 1 minus n square is less than 0 or quite beautifully 1 minus m square into 1 minus n square is less than 0 nice we're looking at distinct pair of integers product of two numbers is less than zero either this is negative this is positive or the other way around right so either this is negative and this is positive or this is positive and this is negative the beauty of this is this is one minus m square is negative that is reasonable lots of numbers one minus n square is positive one square is one n can't be one it will become 0. 2, 3, 4, 5, it won't work. Only possibility where 1 minus n square is positive is when n equal to 0. Only positive possibility where 1 minus m square is negative is when m is 0. So m equal to 0, n greater than 1 works. If m or n were 1, this won't work, it will become 0. If m is 0, n greater than 1 works. Or n equals 0 m greater than 1 works nothing else is possible if m and n are both more than 1 both will become negative product will become positive if either of them is 1 product will go to 0 that doesn't work so one of them should be 0 other one should be greater than 1 so m 0 n greater than 1 or n 0 m greater than 1 that's the possibility now let's come back to this this question this is not n greater than 1 this is mod n greater than 1 mod m greater than 1 because we're talking about n square square so plus 1 work then minus 1 work plus 2 work then minus 2 will work plus and minus 1 will not work plus 2 and minus 2 will work modulus of m plus n less than 5 this is an interesting thing so let's attack that modulus of m plus n less than 5 if m is 0 mod n less than 5 when m is 0 mod n less than 5 n has to be greater than 1 be 2 3 4 n could be plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 plus or minus 4 exact opposite if you put n equal to 0 we have mod m less than 5 we know mod m has to be more than 1 m could be plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 plus or minus 4 so 0 comma 2 0 comma minus 2 0 comma 3 0 comma minus 3 0 comma 4 0 comma minus 4 6 possibilities plus 6 12 possibilities super tough question really 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 tough question so it's kind of question which says okay i'm not touching this we square this then we get somewhere and still there's a couple of steps to go and wonderfully tough question